Hello guys, welcome to Inside Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a look at a mobile charger that is made by ERD. So this is an ERD 5 volt 2 amps adapter. The model number is actually TC50 and this is actually rated for 5 volt 2 amps. And the main thing is as you can see already here, this is made in India and it has proper BIS certification also. So, ERD is one of those brands which are making these adapters inside India itself and you can buy it online or through local mobile shops and other retail shops at a much lower price compared to other adapters that you buy online and being made in India and has the BIS certification this thing is actually really good for your phone this is not like any cheap product that you can buy from China that you may not know the origin of where it comes from, how the interior build quality and everything is. So this thing being BIS certified, you can actually pretty much be uh, relaxed that you are using a proper certified charger for your phone. This thing comes with a micro USB and there are a lot of other models made by ERB but right now this is what I have in my hand and this is the very popular one that is out in the market 502 and because most of the time they are the phones that are using micro USB if the original OEM adapters blown out. ERB adapters are the best thing to go for and this is what mostly most widely available across. Here when I, right now I'm recording this video in Bangalore and if I go to the sh shops, mobile shops, you can see ERD adapters at a much cheaper price and in my hometown area also in most of the shops they are actually selling ERD adapters. So this is actually uh, TC30. 100 to 240 volts, I'm not sure whether you can see that or not. 100 to 200 volts, so it's a multi universal voltage, 110 to 240 volts, still 0.3 amps, 50 to 60 hertz, and 5 volt 2 amps. In one of the next one of my coming videos, I will open up one of these ERD adapters and let's see how the build quality is inside. So, right now, or you may have seen the video of me showing how to use this thing so right now i'll be using this dc load to test whether this can actually provide the rated 2 amps so i'll be plugging it so there is also everything anyway, i'll be plugging i have already plugged that thing and oops sit there okay so i'll be connecting this to the micro usb input and you can see 5 volts that's right so let's reset everything just press long press this one everything is reset to zero let's slowly increase the current right now the no load is actually staying at uh, it's actually slightly fluctuating between 5.2 5 volts so let's slowly increase it I'm slowly increasing the current right now it is still showing zero Okay, 150, 220, 240 milliamps, 370, 490, 500 milliamps crossed, fan started spinning, 700 milliamps, and we are almost reaching 1 amps. At 1 amps of current, it is staying at 4.91 volts, that is 5 volts. And there will be some cable drop as well, so that is one thing we need to consider. And the voltage it shows here is the voltage that is reaching at this point, not the voltage that is coming out of the charger. There are two things that we need to consider. Because of the cable that we are using, there will be a drop. The cable is acting as a resistor and there will always there will of course be a drop across that thing. So the voltage that you see here is the voltage that is coming at the terminal. In fact, give me a moment. So this is the multifunction USB tester which I already had made a video about this one not this brand but different brand but I will attach a card up here so I'll be connecting this one at the input of the adapter right now which will help us show what will be the input voltage so uh, right now okay now it is connected it is showing 4.76 over here and if I show the reading here you can see at the adapter it is staying at 5.14 volts you can see it there 5.14 over there and this is the wire that is coming from here going all the way to here and here it is showing 4.76 that means in this wire itself there is a drop so that is why 
this is showing 4.76 at this point and the good thing about ERD adapters is that uh, okay I will keep this as a surprise you can watch the second video <coughs> which I in which I will do the teardown which I already the video is already made and that is why I will I'll keep it as a surprise that teardown is already made so that is why there is a feature in this adapter that allows to prevent this one this voltage drop okay now it is at 1 amps which is uh, which is within the limits of what it is rated for now let's increase it to full 2 amps now I'll be in, right now this is at 1.96 and it already dropped to 1.2 volts so let's slowly increase it 1.8 at 1.5 amps of current it is staying at 4. Point, let's move it 1.5 amps this is 4.76 over here at 1. Uh, 5 4 amps at the adapter side it is staying strong at you can see the current being drawn from here it is actually drawing 1.5 amps of current from here and the voltage is staying constant at 5.22 volts but here due to the drop it is actually dropped to 4.76 at 1.5 I'm going to slightly increase it to uh, 1 1.7 1.7 4.6 1.8 1.9 it dropped to 3.7 let's see what is the thing here at 1.5 amps it is staying strong at 5.29 volts as you can see so it's due to the cable drop if you try to increase it more than 2 amps it will not go because it is now 1.28 volts and this thing is off the adapter is already off so i'll keep everything in focus and i'll slowly reduce the current right now it has turned on let's see it is showing 3.9 volts you can show that at 1.9 amps it is now down to 3.5 3.7 3.5 volts at the input side at the adapter side and at the load side at 1.92 it is now staying at 2.83 volts so almost uh, similar but there is a drop so even though it is actually rated for 2 amps of current this ERD adapter though it is rated for 2 amps of current it is not actually capable of providing that full 2 amps I'm not sure why because it can go up to 1.6 I think 1.6 1.7 at 1.7 1.8 right now it's almost at 1.84 it is staying at 4.6 and here if you look at 1.9 amps it is almost at 1.9 amps now let me focus into that at 1.9 it is staying at 4.8 and 5 volts so that is good I'll be slightly increasing it now it is more than 2 amps and it is gone down so I think this can actually go up to uh, the full capacity right now it is at 1.9 volts 1.9 amps see 1.93 and it is staying strong at 5.332 volts anything above 1.9 it is going down so as a result we can say it can actually it cannot actually go up to full 2 amps rating but it can work up to 1.8 1.9 amps fine i think it will work fine in that region because i have been using this ERD adapter for charging my phone and the power bank and other things and it was working fine and the one i did the teardown of which you will see in a different video was having some issue it was a brand new charger that immediately blew up when connected to the ac main so this is a separate video coming for that so right now th that's it that is the full test of uh, uh, that is not the full test you can do some other short circuit test even I have already done the short circuit test it, it actually passes it, it is staying strong it will turn off until we remove the short circuit I just kept it there for 24 hours and it stayed fine no problem whatsoever and you can try spike test also which 
it will take long time and i have to use a separate load for that i have to use a separate unit which i'm not going to show right now so as of now that's it for today's video thanks for watching this is how good your erd adapter is if you want to purchase one i will i can actually recommend this one being close to what the rated charge is and you are getting it for much cheaper price so thanks for watching see you in another video